Hey guys, today I want to show you part four of our 10 part mini series on macros and that's on variables. And to show you variables, I want to show you three commands uh, specifically, and that's set var, list var, and add var. So let's not waste any time and jump right into it. And the first thing I want to show you is set var. And I already went ahead and prepared a small macro. So let's just take a look at these three commands over here. Um, the syntax is pretty easy. You just go set var followed by a dollar sign plus a variable name. And in this case, I have the user input some values. So this simple macro actually takes an object type, then a source ID and a destination ID, and then it copies that whatever it is uh, from the source to the destination. And that last part I'll explain in a second. So now when I execute this, I want to say macro, because that's the object type I want to copy. I go source is 23, and then the destination is 25. All right, and now what we can see is something really weird and disturbing. Um, we can see over here that our input worked the way we expected it. We uh, input macro and then um, 23 as the destination, 25 as um, the, the sort, I mean, vice versa. And it all worked out. It went copy macro 23 at a variable collision. <laughs> and so that's where our second uh, variable, our second command for today comes into play, and that's called list var. And I'm just going to execute it like that. But you can see already it's a huge list. Now, one thing that's special about all of the commands that I'm showing you today, there's actually a version of it that's going to uh, modify variables on a user level. So just for the user that is currently logged in. Now, the version that I'm showing you is the global version. So like that, the variables are stored for every user on the console. Now, that's important. Now, to help us get a better overview of this list, we can use filters. So we can just go D with an asterisk. And we can see here we have two variables, um, or in this case, just one other variable um, called destination with this uh, value that we just saw in our macro. What we can also do is list var and enter the variable name directly. And now we can see, all right, there is another variable that has a value in it that we didn't enter. So what's special about this, and I'm just going to delete this line real quick. When we go macro 23 to 25, and we now go list var destination. We can see that we have two versions of destination, one on a user level and one on the global level. And that's the one that we entered um, just now. Now what's interesting is that still our macro line will prefer the user variable over the global variable. So that's really important to know. So in case a macro of yours doesn't work, try to find out which variable doesn't work and then use list var to find out if there's maybe a user uh, variable by the same name. And what you can do then is just go set user var, in that case, destination equals uh, an empty string. And now when we go list var uh, destination, we can see that only our global variable is left. And now when we go macro 23 at 25, it works. So, Set var is a great tool and list var is an even better tool for helping you find collisions and um, helping you debug what variables are on your console already. And that's exactly the reason for the line that you saw earlier. So what I did is I uh, made sure that the last line of my macro actually um, deletes all the variables that I use in this macro. And that's a good best practice to make sure that your uh, macros don't collide with each other uh, in case they use set var just inside of that macro, not outside of it. All right. Now, the last thing I want to show you is at var. And that's really interesting. It's actually pretty simple. So right here, we can see at var counter equals five. So what does that do? You can probably already guess it. 
Let's first check whether we already have the counter variable. Um, we have one, but it looks weird. So let me just set var counter equals zero. So now when we press add var, we can see that it executes something. But what, what does it actually do? Let's find out by adding a message command. So now we can see that it actually increases this um, counter value. And what we can also do is we can actually go minus five and now it's going backwards. That does not only work with numbers, but also with strings. So now watch what happens. Um, it just increases <laughs> the value of counter. So now when we go list var counter, we can see it has all these hellos in there. So that's set var, list var, and add var for you. Um, these three tools are really, really powerful. Again, set var and add var are the ones that you will probably use. List var is mainly a tool for you to help you figure out whether or not you have any collisions in there or to, to just double check which values you set your variables to. And that's pretty much all you need to know about variables. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this was useful to you. Make sure to download the show file in the video description and uh, be careful when you load it on a console because the uh, example is actually on the external screen. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments or on Twitter at a guy named Jonas. And please, please keep subscribing. Uh, that's really, really lovely of you. All right, have a beautiful week. See you in the next video on Monday.